Oh! Uh, did you did you hear Metal Gear Solid Five about there are certain weapon glitches you can do? And so this guy, he comes off like he's talking like a total weapons expert, like a real life one. It's like using the power of engineering. We now put a suppressed silencer, and thankfully this particular fire platform can also shoot uh is an LMG. But thanks to this rebarrel and this suppressor, we can now shoot silenced rockets. Yep. So he had a machine gun with a 200 round magazine and all the bullets in it were rockets and because they were sound suppressed no n of the enemies in the game could tell where the shots came from or oh, even fuck. see where he was oh, and he was fuck. hiding and he's like time to deploy ah. my master cell system that i use on missions and it's a weeaboo box it's a weeaboo <laughs> i mean to be fair <laughs> It's oh my god. Plan, Arthur. I just need a 50 caliber Desert Eagle with a 40 round box magazine. Oh. <laughs> that shoots rockets. No, if you want like a broken real life gun, what you want is an AA10, no, an AA12 uh, automatic shotgun because you can actually shoot it one handed. That is how steady the recoil is. But it can also be chambered in 40 millimeter grenades, which you can rapid fire. So I'm understanding is that. Uh, I can use two of them at the same time. Yes, uh -oh. and you can load them with 40 millimeter grenades. <laughs> and it can be fired. <laughs> I thought I was on top of it. can be fired. No. Out of us. Um, oh yeah, and not only that, not only can they be fired like that, uh, you can get a drum magazine on them, and uh, you can also have them firing on fully automatic, even with the grenades intact. Hang on a second. I um, just imagine on. Solar walking into a room with two of those. We got you out number 10 million to one. I like those. Shit. No! That is yeah. so not fair. I just Come wanna, on! I just want to make sure I'm getting this straight in my own head. I, you just described the closest we as a species will ever get to a real life needler from Halo. <laughs> Yeah, well, it doesn't have. Well, actually, uh, the military has now is now testing special bullets. They're called smart rounds. Rosalia, that actually will, stop. That will figure out like a vital targeting area, and the bullet will change trajectory in the air to wow. hit you if you try and dodge it. Wow, that's fucking horrifying. So, yeah, no, no. So what they did was they took like a it was like a Delta Force sniper or something, gave him these bullets on a training range. And what they did was they had they had him lock on to someone's head, like no, like a target's head, not like a real person, but like a you know a moving target. Okay. Whoa, whoa, they, whoa, whoa, whoa. And they then they it locked on, and he said, okay, without. <laughs> okay. Epic Sorry. bonding five. Thank you for following. Um, oh, 29 it, bonding. Um, without. Yeah, without having him move, without having him move the gun, he, they just said to fire. And the bullet actually did arc into the direction whoa, 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 that the target whoa, whoa, whoa. was moving, and it, and scored a direct hit on his head. Oh god, that's, that's fucking horrifying. That's what we in the biz we, call oh. <laughs> oh there's all, we've also now invented rocket launchers where there's a radar in the rocket. So instead of having to, so if you want to use it on people, um, what you now have to do is you don't even have to hit anyone. You actually can just shoot it next oh, to shit. them, and the radar system in the rocket will detonate the rocket when it's next to everyone. Ah, horseshoes and hand grenades. I the remember that perk from Destiny. The council has awarded you one singular yike. Yes. No, I have, um, I have a particularly massive amount of yikes, because fucking yikes. Oh. That's literally, that's like the, that's like the phrase, nothing is stronger than the power of love, except for an M32 rotary grenade launcher, because fuck you and everyone near you. <laughs> okay, that sounds so, very specific, the dude. Thing that, the thing that freaks me out the most about that particular design is that explosive weapons were never meant for precision. They're explosive. Well, yeah, but they were meant for vehicle. Oh, well, they were meant shit. for vehicles. They weren't meant on. They weren't meant for people. However, here's another horrifying thing. Uh, they're making military robots, and an expert in robotics mentioned was talking to uh, Dr. Peterson because they, they were trying to oh, figure no. out the perception ah, issue with robot with robotics. And they said, hey, uh, Dr. Peterson, you know those movies, the robot movies, where um, the robots round the corner and start shooting at the humans, and the humans dive out of the way, and the robots no! miss? And Damn he's it. like, yeah, okay. Well, the robot, the real-life robots um, that we have made, uh, when they round the corner, they can, within almost a thousandth of a second, 
determine uh, your exact location, figure out all six all six other directions you could po you could possibly move in, determine where you are moving, and when they shoot you, they don't miss. Ah. It'd be like that sometimes. It's what we need all time. Oh, dude, I'm guns. getting my ass kicked. Well, I mean, let's be real. No one would ever fuck with you militarily if you have a mechanized army that you can essentially just plate with tank armor on each of them, and then one infantryman is now suddenly the equivalent of a walking tank with reflexes impossibly greater than a human's. Constant fire a warning shot. Sir, this is an M32 rotary grenade launcher. Ah, potato, no. potato, just fire. Okay. The modern Russian army, Russian military, though, did do something I thought was kind of, kind of cool. Uh... There was a battle in in Syria against ISIS where uh, 3,000 Russian soldiers were helping out uh, to get rid of them. Suddenly they're like, "Hey, we've called, we sent in support. Uh, hang on." And the Russian the Russian military command orders all 3,000 soldiers to stop shooting and leave the village. And it's like, what, it. "What kind of support is this?" They send in one gunship, and it and it destroyed all of ISIS in the entire village by oh. itself. That sounds like the towel from Warhammer 40k. Yeah, I know Russia wanted to debut the helicopter to the world. It was a actually, it's a gunship similar to an Apache. They wanted to debut it to the world, so their idea of debuting it was just to send it into an infested village alone and have it completely single-handedly clear out the infestation. I mean, to be fair, hell of a way to introduce your new fucking technology. Oh yeah, and. You can literally take a heavy, high-caliber, 50-caliber machine gun and shoot it right at the ca at the cockpit, and the glass that's in front of it is powerful enough to resist 50-caliber machine gun rounds. So, what you're saying is we're only a hop, skip, and a jump from actually having Ultra and Space Marines. Yes. Oh, shit! Uh, what do you think the Space Force is for? They are not the Space Marines. I see no, I see no Primarchs among them. Yet. <laughs> I have a feeling that Solar will be the first. <laughs> he'll just fucking come out one day. He'll, like, he'll disappear for like three months and then he'll come back. He'll be like, guys, check out my sweet shit. Fucking power armor, three lungs, two hearts, night vision, seven foot. Me coming back from Area 51. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, no! Co me coming back from Area 51 with the other 98% of milk. <laughs> <laughs> Me leaving Codex. Area 51 with Obama's last name. The Codex of Stardis <laughs> does approve of this action. No, no, if I wanted to do, if I really wanted to do a heist, say I had the best heist people in the world, we could totally do whatever we want. Do you want to know where I would do my heist? Where? The Vatican Archives. Yes. Honestly, fucking same. Like, yep, it, you're part of the heist. You're part of the team now. That didn't fucking, that didn't click into me, it's like, it's like, okay, like, there's a number, you know, Area 51, see what the fuck's going on, that Vatican Arca, oh, nobody's ever seen the inside of that shit. Yeah, even military people can't see the inside of that shit, you have to be the Pope or one of the highest ranking people in the Catholic Church, and also, you're not allowed to search it, if you need access to the Vatican Archives, you need, like, a, almost env a military enviably, enviable list of permissions, and you can only ask for exactly what you're looking for, and you are not allowed to search for anything. You aren't even allowed inside. A guy has to go in, get it for you, and then supervise you while you while you look at it. I have the ancient posters for the pro for the brothel that Mary the Magdalene used to work at. Jesus Christ! Bring me that poster. <laughs> this is the shit. Ah, crap. And now Golden and now Golden is undergoing an LSD trip. Uh, yeah. Here we go again. I was gonna go to work, but then I got that high. It's funny that like, the moment he touches one of the fucking what do you call them puffballs? Puffballs. Like, yeah, the moment he touches one of them, he's like fuck it, and then touches the other nope. seventeen on his way out. Well, I mean, it's not like one of uh, them. It can't get much worse than this. I'm already high, so let's yeah, fucking go for broke yeah, here. It's, it's like, <laughs> I've, already, it's, I've already shot 320% black tar heroin straight up through my eye. Like, what the <laughs> fuck is the other 98% gonna do? Like, Damn it. 
Is this gonna be another another matter? No, he actually hit. Okay, it didn't take him all his shots to hit something this time. <laughs> <laughs> I you know I hope somebody actually clipped that. I hope to God somebody clipped that. Yes, please. God. That, please. I hope to God. Somebody no. Clipped oh. that. I can do this. I can do this. Just gotta be patient. You just gotta believe. You just gotta believe. You just gotta believe. Bro, that or take some game aggro. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Man, that, I'm boulder was, that boulder was food to fuck you, Golden. <laughs> I'm watching you play and like, I'm sorry, but by god, you're missing some really easy jumps, my man. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Who the fuck was that Roberto Clemente motherfucker? <laughs> I don't even know who that is. That <laughs> is Roberto Clemente, one of the greatest baseball players to ever play the game. Okay, it makes an abundance of sense now. Thank you. Um, Rosary, Rosary, uh, to answer your question, no, Nicole, I didn't take Nicole with me. Nicole oh my god. <gasps> yes, 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 yes! Oh my god, yes. <laughs> I'm hoping to be able to take her to one of to one of the conventions that's out of state in the near future. I'm just trying to figure out like I want to be able to go to where every, to like when everybody else is going to the same convention together. You know? Also, I just want to say um, what I heard on my end was uh, yeah, I didn't bring Nicole to BronyCon, and then you just hear Golden going, "Oh my God, yes, 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 yes." <laughs> <laughs> Fuck like them kids, Golden. Fuck. Like Golden's just like, fuck you, diabetes. Not today, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> fuck them kids. Fuck them kids. Fuck them kids. I actually have that picture framed up on my wall. The Michael Jordan just fuck them kids. Oh my god. Mm. Uh. So sometimes you just gotta frame a meme. Sometimes you do. Like Golden's, uh, like Golden's made outfit. Yeah. What about the outfit? What? It's currently framed on Trent's wall. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my. I <laughs> thought it was fine. Build, oh build a goddamn shrine. Oh god. You're all there every day. <sighs> I feel like these streams are undergoing what I'm going to start calling the Christmas effect because every time it's just like this is the best stream ever, and then the next stream this is the best stream. No, I love it when I get a lot of company in the because it's the source of entertainment during quarantine, my friend. We yeah. Are anglerfish territory, and that is okay. Because sadly, no, I can't keep the like audience entertained time myself. We seem to outdo ourselves in how enjoyable we make this stream. Almost specifically, how enjoyable you make the stream. You, whoop, whoop. I'm just here to laugh at it. <laughs> oh, itchy. I got plenty of commentary. I could keep going for ages because I dispute some dumb shit. Uh, Vlad, I should have like. I wish I'd known sooner. Like, I could have invited you to like play some Jackbox I games. I fucking disappeared, and I was I was content with that fact. I fucking disappeared. <laughs> I vanished. I fucking ninjutsu my way out of here. Why would the shadow jutsu? I took my vest, my beanie, and my fucking, my fucking trusty tag, and I just basically <sighs> went, I see ya fuckers, and just fucking deuced out of there. And then the other, the fucking other day, I see Golden, I see Golden following me on God. Twitter, and I'm like, well, I have, I have deceived myself. I was not as, <laughs> I was not as sneaky as I thought I was. Well, you kind of exposed yourself. Well, because I didn't know if Key would recognize me if I said, oh, hey, it's Trent. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I can just imagine Key going, oh, that's nice, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Understandable. Honestly, 